this is what like kind of scared me because I never felt like this before. YouTube. I know you all read the title already. <laughs> it's not funny. So let me tell you all what happened so about my life right now. So I'm just gonna put it out there. So I've been tested positive for COVID-19. And I, okay, so I wanted to like talk about my experience because this is crazy. Um, so basically, I didn't start what well, was today. Today is July 17th and so I got a call from doctors today and saying that I have the COVID-19, it was positive. I felt sick Monday. My nose was running, I kept sneezing, I was coughing, I was doing all types of stuff. And I thought that maybe it was because like the air was on when I was sleeping, but I was at like probably like six in the morning or something like that. And so I didn't really think much of it. And so I went to work and when I got to work I just felt so miserable it felt like my body had like shut down on me like I was sitting in the office and I was just my nose just wouldn't stop running and if you know me I get sick all the time so when I get sick it's like a really big like it's a really big thing like it hits me like hard the first go around it's but I noticed that when I get sick I might like my nose would be running but it wouldn't be like excessively running like it'll run I'll blow my nose you're good you know and then I'll blow it maybe I don't know I'll blow it maybe like 30 minutes later like it wouldn't be like an ongoing thing but this particular day it just my nose just kept running and so I thought it'd be best if I just stay in the office and just you know you know separate myself I don't I don't know I was just like I can't work when my nose is running I uh, thought that I was staying in the office for so long so I thought that maybe no I went on my break first and I ended up over sleeping my break my break is only like 30 minutes and so I ended up taking a 50 minute break because I was just so tired like I was so drowsy and it was just a mess so I, I went back to work and I just felt like I was in the office for too long and I left the office to try to clean and this is what like kind of scared me because I never felt like this before. Grabbed a bleach bottle. You know, I was gonna clean the surfaces of the job. I couldn't smell the bleach. Like that's never happened to me before. Like even when I get like common colds, like I still have my senses. Like I can still smell and taste and stuff like that. But this experience was just different. I just couldn't, I couldn't smell nothing. Like the bleach, like it, it surprised me. I'm like, it's bleach. I'm supposed to be able to smell this. I asked one of my coworkers. I was just like, you know, what does this smell like to you? And it was just like, oh, it smells like bleach. Like, what are you talking about? I was just like, oh, okay. And so, went home. I went and got some soup. I put hot sauce, chili powder, all in the soup. I went and got some tea. I put like honey and like I put honey and stuff in the tea. And I couldn't taste anything. Like it tasted plain. Like I was, cause I never. I never was not able to taste something. And so I was just like, okay, uh, maybe maybe I should go lay down, go sleep. And so I woke up at three in the morning that night and my body was just sweating. Like I could, it was just, my body was just sweating hard, hard as hell. And I ended up like going back to sleep. And when I woke up, my muscles was hurting now I do work out but I don't work out my arms my back or nothing I just work out my legs and so it was weird to me that my back and my shoulder my shoulder and my lower back was just in pain and so that's when I kind of got nervous and I it was like a seven I think and so I found this urgent care that's like probably like seven minutes away from my house they didn't open up to like eight so I went when they opened up and I was just so miserable like I wanted to cry like I felt like I was like gonna die or something because it was just I never felt like mind you like I said I always get sick but I never felt like this before it took my temperature they said my temperature was at 99 so I didn't have a fever but they said they were gonna go ahead and test me anyway because I just looked so sick um, today is the day that I got my test results back and I got and they said it was positive but it's weird because 
the next day, next day I was fine. I felt fine, and the day after that I felt fine. Cause it took about three, four days for me to get my test results back, and um, I felt fine. Like it was, I was okay. And everybody keeps calling. It's really weird. But on a positive note, I am feeling a lot better. A lot better. I did feel like Monday. I did feel like I was like. I was dying like I felt like I thought I was gonna die because it's very difficult to try to live a normal life knowing that I can't even taste or smell my food and people keep telling me you know I need to eat I mean yeah but it's just so boring like everything tastes the same so it's day eight of this virus and I'm actually getting kind of annoyed because my phone keeps ringing and nobody understands that I need to rest and it's not even that I want to rest it's just that sometimes I just don't want to be bothered like um, yesterday my nose was okay so today I did like blow my nose a couple of times I coughed a couple of times but that was really it I haven't really felt any symptoms yesterday I had some soup with some chicken and rice soup and I had put some like like chicken broth in it. I ate the whole thing. I put some chili powder and hot sauce in it too. Uh, that was good. Um, my taste buds are starting to come back so that's good. Uh, I'm not really sure today because I kind of just woke up so um, I guess we'll find out later. So. People are so dramatic and it's like I understand people's frustrations but People are so dramatic, like, people are treating me as if I'm like, as if I have like a green shield around me and if I get too close then they're gonna die type shit. So, so far, I tried to, I'm eating Panera bread, I done ordered some broccoli and cheddar soup and this Frontega. And as I said before, I can't really taste much, but it is giving me some type of taste, so that's how I know I'm getting a little better. So, that sucks, and I love food, so that really sucks. So, I decided to get out of bed and finally do something with my life, so I decided to twist up my hair. Um, so, with my hair, this souffle, I got my Eco Styler, I'm using the Cantu Shea Moisture, and I picked up this leave-in conditioner, it's from African Pride Coconut Milk and Honey. I like it, it's really good, so, and I have my spray bottle, of course, so I am just twisting my hair. I'm using a new technique, I'm using rubber bands to tighten the roots of my twist. I never did this method before, so I'm just gonna try it out for today. I will show you guys what it looks like in just a second. Okay, so I am finished with my hair, and it took me about four hours, but I I noticed, if you don't see right here, like there is some heat damage going on. So when I get home, Chicago, I am gonna get a haircut because this is not okay. I don't like this. It doesn't bother me to cut my hair because I've always, I've had long hair my entire life, so it doesn't bother me, but I am gonna get this cut. Um, I think I'm gonna have her even it out. I don't think I'm gonna have her like cut the whole thing. But yeah, so. Oh, I also wanted to show you all my waist trainer. Here it is right here. This is the J Skull. This is a nice famous one, very popular. I decided to get it. Um, I didn't want to start waist training until like, I wanted to do it while I was in the gym. But since I'm not going to the gym right now, I'm just wearing it for right now. So I can get comfort, so I can get used to it, so my body can get, so it can feel comfortable when I do go to the gym. I do like it. It does slim me out. It does give me like that shake that I want. My chest is up higher. It's real comfortable. So it does have the belt. And I, yeah. So pretty soon I should be able to bring like this part all the way over to the side. Hopefully, hopefully. That's how I'll know it's working. So yeah, here it is and I'm gonna go and lay down now, so see ya. Okay, so I'm done undoing my twist. Um, let me know in the comments how you feel about my twist out. I think it came out pretty nice. It definitely came out better than it did before. Let me show you all the back. So here is the back. I hope I got all of them out. Not feeling around for it, but. So the rubber band method really did make them less frizzy like at the roots, cause usually they'll be like really, really frizzy and it'll just look like, it'll just look a hot ass mess. But today they, it looks nice. I would give this like, I don't know. I would give it a, a eight. 
you know, maybe an eight. So let me know in the comments if you like it or not. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, I do live with my sister. So I did come downstairs so I can make me something to eat. When I come downstairs, I wear gloves and I wear my mask. You know, so I, cause I don't want anything to be, you know, transferred anywhere. So right now I'm about to just steam my face and drink me some tea. So I'm gonna show you guys what I actually do to, I do this right before I go to sleep. So yeah, here we go. What I do is I get a cup of water and I, boil, I warm it up in a microwave for about three minutes and then I use these. Um, I usually use like one pack. You can see I've been using it quite a lot. I only have like three more left so I should go get some more. well my sister should go get some more so I use these I also drink this tea it's both of them together I use this honey as well steaming my face I usually get a pot a big bowl of water and in this mixture is oranges and lemons so I would just mix it all together um, I also put some Cajun seasoning in it as well just to spice things up and I will usually hold my face over this for about five to six minutes. Before I do the steaming process, I usually just, I usually drink my tea first. And then I'll go over there and steam my face. So I got a call from the doctor today and I am now COVID free. I am so happy she sent me my isolation letter, my isolation release letter in my email. So I am now able to go back to work and go back to continuing my daily life. And I just wanna thank everybody for all the help and remedies that they gave me um, to help, my, help me get better. And I just wanna say, Thank you to everybody that's been, you know, praying for me, hoping that, you know, I pull through. I always knew God was going to pull me through this anyway, but thank you for all the prayers, all the remedies, all the everything else. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. But that will be the end of this COVID vlog. Make sure you're subscribing to my channel. Make sure you're liking this video. Make sure you're staying clean, healthy, using your hand sanitizer, always wearing your mask, and staying six feet apart.